Buying a home is a special milestone in everyone's life. Though this moment is special, it is also merely a stepping stone to a lifelong journey to maintain it the way you envisioned. Learning to decorate, keeping it clean is also great fun. So I want to share some tried and tested tricks which have helped me throughout my own journey and I hope you also find them useful to keep your house up to date. Hello everyone, this is Priyanka and once again welcome back to my channel. Those who are watching me for the very first time, I am an interior designer and here on this channel we talk all things related to home. DIYs, home decor ideas, organization, interiors. And those who have already subscribed to my channel, I just wanted to say thank you from bottom of my heart. Now let's talk about what we're going to do in today's video. So I'm just going to share some easy tips and hacks which will help you out uh, more in keeping your home, you know, neat, tidy and in maintaining your house so that it will stay like that away. So without wasting any time, let's get into today's video. You must be having various common furniture items in the house like chairs, tables, etc. And over the time, they create marks and unprotected furniture legs can grind dirt and debris into your floor finish. Heavier items might even leave everlasting deep permanent indentations. Here you see that this chair was in this spot for a very long time. The wood got ruined because of pulling the chair back and forth to clean the floor. To protect your wooden or tile floor from such marks, you can use these self-stick flat round pads which simply attach to the furniture leg and act as a buffer between legs and floor. Simply peel the backing from these pads, clean the legs and fix them under the legs. This will help to protect the floors and even help your furniture to glide more easily if you need to move it from one place to another. Quality sleep is essential for good health, so it is important to keep your mattress in a good shape. Flipping and rotating your mattress regularly is the key to its performance. But because of new technology, flipping is not necessary in some of the mattresses. But rotating is important for all. If you sleep on one side and in one position of the bed, you are putting pressure only on one side of the mattress. This pressure may make your mattress sag from that particular side. Rotate your mattress every three months to avoid even wear and tear of your mattress. Flipping and rotating might help, but investing in a good mattress is also very important. Recently, I was doing the makeover of our guest bedroom and we were planning to buy a mattress. I came across this mattress from Wake Up Orthopedic Memory Foam. This mattress is delivered to you in the most sleek packaging I have ever seen. All vacuum packed, you just have to remove the top cover with the help of a blade and in no time it will inflate and take its proper shape on your bed. This is an orthopedic memory foam mattress which provides great support to your spine alignment and pressure relief. It takes your body shape. This is a zero motion transfer mattress which means no matter how many times your partner wakes up at the night, there will be no interruptions in your sleep cycle. This ortho memory foam mattress from Wake Up brings comfort when you sit or sleep on it. If you're looking for a comfortable mattress for yourself, then you can definitely think about this one. Please check details in the description box below if in case you are also interested to buy this mattress. When you plan to change the bed sheets in your bedroom, you just head to the drawer to grab some fresh sheets. And as you redress your bed, you notice some pretty deep creases in your bedding. You know, it just makes the bed look not so great. We love to have bedrooms to look as classy as a 5-star hotel room. So to get rid of these wrinkles from your bed sheet, you just need to take a spray bottle. Similar to the ones nowadays we all use for hand sanitizer. Take one empty bottle, clean it, fill it with water. And next time when you see wrinkles like this on your bed sheet, just take this bottle, spray it and then straight it out with your hands. It will instantly release all the wrinkles and improve the aesthetics of your bedroom. You can also use an iron. Just heat it up and take it out from the switch. Now, iron out all creases, but before doing this, check the label of your mattress. Whether an iron could damage your mattress or not, then only use it. Mm -hmm. 
No doubt, vacuum cleaners make the job easy around the home to clean the floor, sofas, walls or curtains. You can use it to clean almost everything inside your home. The attachment like this, the floor cleaner gets dirty over the time with its multiple usage. This attachment should be kept clean, then only this can help to keep your home clean. Detach the attachment from the vacuum cleaner, take a closer look. See the amount of dust, dirt and hair strands which just rolled up across the brush, making it difficult to pick dirt from the floor. A very simple solution to clean this attachment. Every floor cleaner has an open and closed lock, which can be easily opened with the help of a coin. So just unlock it and open this flap and remove the brush from the attachment. Now see the amount of hair strands which are just rolled up across this brush. Now take a scissor and cut the hair strands from the middle. Remove it. Now because of scissor, it becomes easy to remove them. Otherwise, it would be difficult to remove each and every hair strand from the brush. Clean it nicely and see how clean the brush look. Clean it from here also, dust off everything. And once you're done, just attach this brush again to the attachment. And your vacuum cleaner is all set to again clean your home. When we remove the price stickers from mugs and other things, mostly the sticky glue doesn't come off and it takes time to get rid of. I recently came to know about this sticky adhesive remover. It takes off all the stickiness from the surface. You just have to spray it, leave it for one or two minutes and then with the help of a wet cloth, scrub it. Now you might say that a hair dryer can also do the job. So yes, it can. But there are times when we don't have patience to do that and try to scratch it off. This could be the option to go for. Over my fridge, there was a lot of adhesive which was quite there for quite some time. Then I used this and then in no time, all the glue was taken care of from the fridge. Then I started using it to clear out such stickers from mugs and candles and it works amazing. Where do you store your garbage bags? In the cabinets like this or on the fridge or washing machine, wherever it is. It can either be inconvenient or simply not that straightforward to get a new bag for your trash can. I got this idea from Pinterest. I saw that the handles of the baskets can be used as an opening to get new bags, but then I thought what if I want to store all bags together so that they remain organized and also use them daily at the same time. I got this basket from Market 99 which has a lid. There is this opening on the top of it. Such a basket not only serves the purpose of keeping all your garbage bags at one place but also the excess point in the lid provides a way to take out bags for your daily use. This basket is deep enough to accommodate all the garbage bags and store them inside. Keep the open roll on the top and from here you can take out the bag and put it on the trash can. I will try to find a similar basket on Amazon and try to put the link in the description box below. Now I will place this basket near the sink a little out of the sight so that whenever I need to change the bags easily, I can grab a new one. As it has the lid, the bags will not get dirty and it won't be visible also. Many times on my channel, I have been asked how do I manage to change the wall decor so frequently? How do I hang the frames and wall art? Do I use double sided tapes and many such questions? Sometimes I use command hooks but mostly I use small nails to hang the wall decor. But when I like to change it, I also face these marks on the wall. I always like to keep a packet of white cement handy at my place. Just make a paste of it with the help of water and then apply it on the wall to fill such nail marks and hole. To smooth it out, I use this putty wall spatula to remove the extra white cement around the holes. Once the white cement dries completely, use a dry cloth to dust off the excess white cement from the wall. Just use the paint color of the wall and color it. In case of white walls, you can also use acrylic colors. And then again, just redecorate your house to have a pleasant change.
Mostly, we all love to collect rugs and small size carpets to keep them around the bedside, in the living room, under the tables, or to make a cozy sitting corner. It's not always easy to find rugs which are anti skid. And when you put runners like these in front of the bed, there is a possibility that someone can slip when they keep their foot on it. I have a perfect solution to make them anti skid with an easy DIY. In the previous video, I had shown you this silicon sealant. Now you just have to flip the runner or the carpet and at the back side just apply the silicon sealant. Let it completely dry and in the same way you can make all your runners and carpets anti skid. Easy hack but can save some unfortunate accidents. Once the glue is dried completely, you can just flip it and use it in your bedroom or if you have a big carpet in your living room. I always like to keep this Dira spray which is very helpful around the home if your door squeaks when you open or close it. Spray it over the hinges and wait for few minutes to see the difference. It's also good to remove the rust from your tools like this. Just spray it, wait for few seconds and then scrub it with a tissue. Rust around the taps can also be taken care by this one. You can even try to remove the stains from the wall, one product which helps around the home in many ways. Nothing beats coming inside on a warm spring day to a home that smells so fresh and clean. Here is this easy DIY freshener for fabrics. You just need to take an empty hand sanitizer bottle, clean it nicely and fill it with water. Now add 10 to 11 drops of essential oil of your choice. Shake it well and your DIY fabric freshener is ready. Spray it on your curtains, bed sheets, pillows, cushions in your living room, these small rugs or big carpets in your bedroom or in your living area. If you have fake flowers, plants in your home, just spray over them also. This will leave a refreshing and soothing fragrance all over your home. One really all good time hack which I love and like a lot. This is all for today's video and I really hope you're going to find all these tricks and hacks useful in maintaining your home. If you like today's video then please do share this video with all your friends and family. Like the video and please do subscribe to my channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more video related updates. I'll see you next time with another video. Till then, stay home, take care and bye-bye.